it's no wonder many of us have forgotten the true meaning of the word quiet. The meaning of words like peaceful, seclusion, silence, calm, tranquil, serenity. But Ford hasn't forgotten. Inside this car, Ford's greatest of all its great cars, we're in a world apart. For we're enjoying the very luxurious security, comfort and almost unbelievable quiet of the Ford LTD. We've started moving now, and there's no difference except movement itself. It really is so very silent. But that's only one aspect of this very special car. Look around and see how Ford hasn't forgotten many good things in a world that seems to be forgetting. Things like good workmanship, minute attention to detail, the old-fashioned pride that goes with making something better than others have made. It's all here, in this car. Ford's LTD. Big it is. From the outside, big and beautiful. From the inside, big and utterly, thoroughly luxurious. Big, too, in concept, planning and execution. For, you see, there's a certain responsibility in having put the world on wheels. And Ford is very conscious of this. So Ford still produces cars like this one for people who need and demand the best the motor industry has to give. Incidentally, we've just moved over a very rough stretch of road under construction. I know because I saw it. Anyway, now we're out of the busy section, let's stop here where it's quieter and make a few comparisons. It's necessary to do this to prove that Ford's claims for its LTD are extremely well-founded. That's rather nice out here. I may find myself having to speak above the cicadas, but nevertheless. Now, taking higher-priced continental cars as a comparison, how does the LTD shape up against, say, the Jaguar XJ6s and XJV12s and the Mercedes 280SE? Remarkably well. For instance, its conventional large displacement V8 engine gives superior torque, greater ease of servicing. It has a longer wheelbase. The boot is larger. And like all Ford luxury cars, it has outstanding styling. Its designers overseas work long and hard to achieve a fine balance between modern new model styling and a conservative luxury limousine image. Let's go inside again. There's much more interior room, more front headroom, more front seat width, more rear seat width, rear leg room and headroom. And one important factor to you could be that this car is hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars less costly than the cars with which we've been comparing it. Another vital and very impressive aspect of the LTD is that many of the more costly features cars have as extras are standard here. All standard. And here they are. A 5.8 litre V8 engine. Four wheel power disc brakes. Variable ratio power steering. Limited slip differential. Power side windows. Listen. This car has select shift three-speed automatic transmission. A fully integrated air conditioning system. And reclining high back front bucket seats. Richly grain vinyl upholstery with color matched fabric facings. Cut pile carpeting. Long range push button radio. Electrically heated rear window demister. Banded, laminated, and graduated tint windscreen. Tinted side and rear glass. Wood grain steering wheel. Front inertia reel seat belt retractors. Remote control exterior rear vision mirrors. Dual hideaway headlights. Deep padded vinyl roof. Styled wheel covers. White sidewall radial ply tires. Fully carpeted luggage compartment. And as I said, all standard. Optional extras are leather trim and a stereo cassette player with the radio. 
this car has one and recorded on a cassette, I'm about to play as we head back into town some comments from newspaper and magazine experts who have test-driven the LTD and its two-door version, the Landau. Listen. Better business, July 1974. If the LTD was stripped of all its luxuries, it would still be a superb car. New Zealand Herald, May 8. Any honest motorist will admit to feeling a twinge of envy as he watched a VIP glide past in a luxury limousine. A spell behind the wheel of a Ford LTD shows that the envy is not misplaced. Evening Star, April 6. I drove it for a week in between spells with a fairly rowdy small coupe and felt as if I'd spent the time in a plush rest home when I finally returned the Ford LTD. Reviewers have enthused this way all over the country. They've praised the quietness, the ride, the power and punch on the open road, the safety, the ease of steering, the road holding. The docile way this big car behaves and stop start city driving. They've lauded the luxury. They've compared it with other luxury cars and found its extra value for money surprising. Comparing LTD and Landau with cars like Jaguar or Mercedes, Ford obviously offers a considerable advantage. Not only in styling and finish and equipment level, but it also quite definitely provides a considerable saving in capital expenditure. This, in today's economic climate, must surely be a major advantage to anyone contemplating a car that needs to combine the very highest standards of motoring with a realistic appraisal of everyone's need to get real worth for every dollar spent. The car has stopped now. But there's no hurry to get out. Listen to some music. And if you like, think about LTD as being part of your life. It can be. There will always be a demand for such a car. And so Ford will make them in limited numbers. A few of them are at present available. Why don't you phone your Ford dealer for a no-obligation test run in the luxurious LTD or the two-door Landau.